It all starts here. This is Roland Hagenberg in New Jersey, where Bruce Springsteen grew up, and Bon Jovi, and poets like Allen Ginsberg, and William Carlos Williams. And there's also Hoop, an artist who has been enchanting people with his Hoop mobiles for over 20 years. It was my, my neighbor's friend's father's car, and it's only got 50,000 miles on it. Most of my cars in the wintertime are in disrepair, and then in the springtime I, I redo them. Why are they all burnt? They're not burned, they're uh, just, uh, uh, they, what happens is when I glue the material on mm -hmm. and then I take it off, it's very rough. And then when I paint it flat black or a color, then it looks like it's burned. In a world where art has become an absurdly prized commodity that serves only the vanity of a few, Hoop turns this elitist concept upside down. Art has to be for all, he says. I want to make people happy. I have about uh, 10 cars now, so I got to get everything back on the road again. Hoop was a longtime friend and collaborator of art promoter Bert Jones. When Bert died last year, he inherited hundreds of original drawings and paintings from celebrities. Charles Bronson, Fellini, Dwight Eisenhower, Sylvester Stallone, Grace Kelly, Anthony Quinn, Bob Dylan, Paul McCartney, Muhammad Ali, Jimi Hendrix. What are you planning with uh, that collection? Uh, I'm going to continue having shows. William Burroughs, this is some of his last artwork. They were self-portraits and he shot them. And these are the bullet casings. I collaborated with Ivy Nicholson, the Warhol superstar on this piece here. This is, uh, she painted a picture of uh, what was going to be Andy, but then she realized it wasn't Andy. That was the son they would have together. I started uh, drawing pictures uh, instead of uh, doing uh, the math test when I was in uh, third grade, I was drawing pictures on the side of the paper. That's what art is all about, is to uh, try to change things a little bit. The police don't look at it as like a uh, novelty. The car is so far out that he's probably legal. He's probably not doing anything wrong. My real name is Stephen Douglas Hooper. It was a, a tea kettle. A tea kettle? Yes, it's a tea kettle. Okay. He, uh, it's a nice fit with the uh, feathers down the middle. It kind of looks like a gladiator, and I like it. Say I'm like a gladiator, I like that sound. You're glad, you're a gladiator battling through the art world. <laughs>